Welcome to the BIM House channel. If you are new to Revit, and you want to learn how to use it, this video will be a good starting point for you. In this video, I'll share with you all essential knowledge, essential skills, and you will be able to take control over a Revit model after this video. Okay, let's start. To explain how a real Revit project look like and how it works. I'm going to compare how a project will be set up using 2D CAD program like AutoCAD, and how it'll be set up if we use Revit instead. In the left of the video is the 2D CAD project folder, and in the right is a Revit project folder. Please notice that this is just a typical way to set up a MEP project, some company may use a different way to set up their project. When we use 2D CAD, we will need to create quite many folders for each discipline. The XREF folder is used to storage architecture and structure drawings. We will use them as the background for MEP drawings. In plumbing folder, we have two subfolders for supply water system and waste water system. Inside the subfolder, we have many drawings such as schematic, installation details, plan layout for each level of the building and sections. In electrical folder we also have many subfolders for systems like, lighting system, power distribution system, fire alarm system, telecommunication system, etc. And, again, inside these folders, we have many drawings such as single line diagram, installation details, plan layout for each level of the building and sections. The same thing happens to HVAC and firefighting system. Now. Look at Revit project, we only have 6 Revit files. We have architecture model, structure model and separate models for each discipline of MEP. That's all. And it means, when we open the Revit file of electrical system, we can access all electrical drawings instead of looking for it in electrical folder of the 2D CAD project. We can bring all the information of a project folder of 2D CAD project to a single Revit file. That's the difference between Revit project and 2D CAD project. How Revit do that? I'll open a sample project. This is a three storages building. And you see, I can open drawing of different levels by a single click. Imagine we have many invisible boxes, each contains a level of the building like this. When you look at the box from the top, we have the plan view. When you look at it from the sides, we have elevation drawing or section drawing. We can easily adjust dimensions of the box to create drawing that we want. That's how Revit model generate drawings from a 3D model. In this section, I'm going to explain two types of Revit project file. And, I'll show you how to open it correctly, if you open Revit file in the wrong way, it may cause some problems such as, corrupt the file, impact other people's works. We have two types of Revit project file, they are, local file and central file. There is nothing special about the Revit local file, it's just a file that we created when we use Revit to create a project. But, Revit central file is a special file. In a company, we used to store them on the server, or a special cloud platform that was called CDE. Revit central file is set up to allow more than one people to access and to work on it at the same time. Because of that reason, open it in the wrong way may corrupt the file or impact other people's work. So, how to open Revit project file in the right way? Just like many other software, we have three ways to open a file. The first one is double click on the file to open it. The second one is recall recent open file. You can find the list of recent project in the starting window of Revit, or just click the button file in the upper left of the starting window. The last one is using the open button. You can also find the open button in the starting window of Revit, or click to the button file and find it in the drop down panel. All of three methods above are ok when you use it to open a Revit local file. But, if you want to open a central file, you should always use the last method, use the open button. If you double click to open a Revit central file, 
you can open it but there is nothing else you can do with it. If you're an advanced Revit user, you will understand and know how to open Revit central file by click to the recent document. If you are not an advanced user, please, don't do that. When you use the open button to open the central file. In the new window, you will see some checkbox. If you just want to open the model to view or to do something but you don't want to change the original file if you accidentally hit the save or the sync button. Check the detached from central checkbox before you open it. Example. You are an engineer. And, you want to open electrical model to look for some information, while the Revit modeler is working on it. You should detach from central before you open it. If you want to open the central file and working on it, check the create new local checkbox. In section number 3, I'm going to talk about the Revit environment and Revit user interface. Let's talk about the Revit environment first. Basically, we have three Revit file extension. The file extension RVT stand for Revit project file. The file extension RTE stand for Revit template. And the last one, RFA stand for Revit family. Up to 99.99% of a Revit model are made of Revit families. So, what is Revit family? In Revit, we have two types of family. The first one is system family, they are families that were created by Autodesk. User cannot create new system family, we can only modify them a little bit. For an example, a wall is a system family. We can only duplicate old family and modify its parameters to create a new wall type. The second one is user defined, we can create new families and insert them to our project. A chair is a family, a lamp is a family, sink, lava boatery, air grill, electrical panel, they are all families. In Revit, a line, or even a text, they are family as well. Revit organize families into many categories. For an example, single door, double door, sliding door, rolling door, glass door, or wooden door, they are all sorted in the door category. In the project, simply click the door command, choose the right door type and place it into our model. There are ton of things if you want to deep dive into Revit family. For this video, I think we should stop here. Revit template is very, very important. But, as a beginner, you don't have to worry about it. Just keep in mind one thing, start the project by the right template, otherwise, you can't draw. Revit have quite many default template for you. As you can see, I started a new project by electrical template. When I draw cable tray, it's smooth. But when I try to draw HVAC duct work, error occurs. Now, I will explain about the Revit user interface, I'll introduce you four main things. Here is the ribbon, it contains all Revit commands. Here is the project browser, it contains all working views, all drawing sheets, schedules, etc. If Revit is window, project browser will be the window explorer. Here is the working view. Your model, drawing will be here. The last thing is the properties panel. It show us all information of the current selected object. If nothing is selected, this panel show up the information of the active working view. Property panel and project browser panel is dockable. So that, the position of the panel on your screen may be different. In this section, I teach you how to take control over a Revit model. If you are an engineer, an architect, you may not have to work on the model. But, sometime, you need to open it to check the work of the modeler, or looking for some information. This section is all that you need. First of all, let's open a sample model. When you install Revit, there are some sample model came with the install package. Just follow what I'm doing to open it. I'm going to open MEP sample model. But, you can open the architecture model or structure model based on what you need. We will lean how to use the project browser first. I will only talk about some containers. Some of them are never being used or rarely use in real project. 
such as the report container, this is where Revit show the cooling load calculation. Sometime, I use Revit to calculate the cooling load but only for research purpose. I real project, I use trace 700. On the top of project browser, we have the views container. We have some type of views. Drafting view, floor plan layout, ceiling layout, elevation view, section view, and 3D view. Drafting view only contains 2D elements. It is used to draw installation details or schematic, single line diagram. Other types of view are main view that is created based on the 3D model. Let's say, to work on Revit is to build a 3D model, and we use that model to generate all views that we need, except the drafting view. Basically, this is where we will working on for the most of time. The third container is schedule quantities, this is where we can generate room list, equipment schedule, etc. The sixth container is sheets. This is where we storage our drawings, which will be print out and submit to the client. The seventh container is where you can find all Revit families that was loaded into the current project. The last container is Revit link. This container show us a list of Revit file that were linked to our current project. This sample model has no Revit link, so that this list is empty. Now that you know how to open any views, any drawing in a Revit model. I'll show you some basic skills to navigate and control the model. When you open a view, maybe you want to change how it look. Look at the bottom left of the working view, we have two commands to do that. Detail level, we have three levels, let's see what it does. Visual style, we have quite many options but I usually use just three of them, wireframe, hidden line, and shaded. Now, look at the view and roll the mouse wheel to zoom in or zoom out. Or you can use some zoom command here. To pan the view, just click and hold the mouse wheel while you drag the mouse. To select an object, move the mouse arrow to the object and left click. To select multi object, left click and hold the mouse button while you drag the mouse. To add in or to remove the object from a selection set, hold Ctrl or Shift button on the keyboard and left click on the object. If you want view the 3D of an area, select some object in that area and use the command selection box. You can adjust the box to make the 3D view suite your need. Now, if you want to rotate the view, Hold the shift button on the keyboard, hold the mouse wheel and drag the mouse. If you select an object before you rotate the 3D view, that object will be the center of the rotation. If you want to create a section, use the section command. There are two ways to active section command. Click the icon right here on the top left of Revit window. Or, click the view tab on the ribbon and click the section icon. You can only use this command when you are in floor plan layout or ceiling layout. After you active the command, let's draw a line. If you want to change the view of the section to the opposite, just select the section and click this icon. Now, right click the mouse and select go to view. If you want to change the depth of the section, just follow what I'm doing on the screen. When you select the section, you can see a rectangular. Drag and change the width of this rectangular will change the depth of the section. As you can see, when I change the width of the rectangular, the section view also change. Just practice what you learned in this section. Try to take control over a Revit model before you learn to modify or create something. Using Revit, we can also apply some new technology to our project to improve the quality. We can use VRAR technology to review the Revit model. Sometime, we have expansion job or demolition job. But we don't have as built drawings of the existing building. The measurement process is usually difficult. Sometimes, it's almost impossible to do. 
The use of point cloud model will help us to have a better design. We can use laser scan to create a point cloud model then inset it to Revit. In the next video, I'll teach you how to use all of Revit basic commands. They are Revit commands that every Revit user has to use every day. If you find that this video is helpful for you, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. See you next time.